was also a man by the name, well, he's an Ethiopian eunuch. And this Ethiopian eunuch wanted to know what he needed to do to be saved. He was on a chariot and he was reading the Old Testament about there would be a man who would die for his sins. And he wanted to know who was that man. And God sent the evangelist by the name of Philip. And Philip said, that man is Jesus. There's no way you're going to be able to get to heaven if you don't go through that man, Jesus. And the Bible said when he was passing the body of water that the Ethiopian eunuch said, here's water, what's stopping me from being baptized? In other words, what's stopping me from being saved? And Philip told the Ethiopian eunuch, if you believe with all your heart, you will be saved. Jesus, you'll be saved in Jesus' name. Junior, do you believe that Jesus died for your sins? With that confession, it brought death to Christ. And with that confession, it brings life everlasting to you. By the authority invested in me, I now baptize you, my son, my dear brother, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. Amen. 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 Mike. by night because he was afraid of what the people may think. And Nicodemus wanted to know, what must I do to be a part of the kingdom of God? And Jesus said, you need to be born again. Well, that was a broad statement because Nicodemus thought, well, maybe I need to go back into my mother's womb again. And Jesus had to break it down to him and say, no, you need to be born again by the water and the spirit. He was prophesying about baptism. And at that moment, when you are baptized by faith, you'll be added to the kingdom of God. There's nothing the enemy can do to make you think otherwise. You can go through our life with confidence, knowing that I'm a child of God. And since I have his spirit and I have his word, I can continue to grow thereby. Maya, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? With that confession, it brought death to Christ. And with that confession, it brings life everlasting to you. By authority invested in me, I now baptize you, my daughter, my sister, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. <laughs> 